A remarkable turn of events the morning after Origin 2. Every journalist in the game looking around at each other and going, how on earth did that happen? A win and a week off for the Titans. And the next thing you know, Justin Holbrook, despite that, is shown the door. Des Hasler immediately parachuted in from 2024. Michael, why did no one see this coming? Well, I think people saw Holbrook being moved on. I didn't think they thought it was going to happen this quickly. Uh, and especially talk around uh, Des Hasler. There hadn't been much talk around Des Hasler. The Dragons hadn't even interviewed Des Hasler. And then all of a sudden, as you said, the day after Origin, he's, he's leaving the club, Holbrook, and, and Des is in. So uh, it's, a, it's a tough call. I think the Titans are now four points away from the top of the table. But the club thinks that, as he said, he's done a good job. They need more than good. The, the Titans feel like they've got a roster now that can take the next step. And who better than the guy who's done it time and time again than Des Hasler? I, it was ruthless, but you have to applaud them. How long they... had he been there for? Holbrook? Three yeah, and I think half it was years. Three, year, yeah, three and a half years. They just said that he promised to deliver a premiership in that time. That, that's a big promise. I think everyone like, promises to deliver. Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> like Holbrook's not silly. She yeah. Certainly, surely would have. That's a big ask to deliver a premiership there in, in three years. Is that roster capable of playing finals football? Uh, yeah, the roster probably is. Look, the, the roster itself is, is a pretty good roster, to, to be honest. But I, I just look at the, the whole club and I, I still think Des got a big job. They can come up with games like they did on the weekend. They got really good players, you know, guys like Flutter Waker and Tino, Origin players. Um, but I think overall, to be consistent week in, week out, they've got to, they've got to be a defensive base side. So we just heard Billy Slater say then, and I, I think. Um, yeah, I think Des got a job on his head to turn him around to, to think like that or to be like that. I feel like a lot of guys go there you know, for the money um, and I think you've got to be at a club for more than just money. Did the Titans play it this well, Gus? Oh, a round of applause. Absolutely brilliant. To be able to do this without it leaking out anywhere. Mm. They've shocked the world. That's right to say people, well, we knew he was going to move on. No one knew this was coming when it happened. Zoom, and that's zoom a in. real rarity in the game of rugby league. Sure so is. to the ownership and the management of the Gold Coast Titans... I'm absolutely applauding. I'm not applauding the decision. I'm just applauding how brilliant you were to keep that quiet because in today's world in rugby league, there are no secrets. Secrets get out very, very quickly. Um, so I, that, that's brilliant. That's, that shows that they've got trustworthy people there and they can trust their management and trust the people that were involved in those conversations. As to whether now the right time um, to move the coach on, well, only people internally know that. Mm. Only people internally will know what the feeling was like um, I get the feeling myself, looking at the Gold Coast play football, that they've underperformed. I think they've underperformed in the effort areas of the game. I've been saying for years there's been an attacking mindset but no real uh, discipline in defence and that's cost them on any number of occasions. Their second halves this year in particular have been substandard compared to what we see 40 minutes earlier in first halves where they can run to big leads but still get run down. They showed yesterday what their potential was in beating the Premiership uh, leaders of the competition, fair and square. Um, at Suncorp Stadium. It's a, it's a good football team with a good roster. There's a lot of teams out there that would love to have the roster that they've got at the moment. Um, so in that respect, I guess the Gold Coast Titans not so much got impatient, but all of a sudden someone knocks on their door and says, look, I can deliver Des Hasler. Is that how it would have unfolded? I can only imagine that's how it was. Mm -hmm. And said, here is a bloke who can get you from where you are to where you need to be. All, right? all the hard work is done, the recruitment's done. They've got a good, they've got a good lineup. It's a, it's a solid-looking team. Now we just need someone to show them how to beat the best teams on their best day. They go beat the Broncos later that week. And they go out and beat the Broncos. Well, they've got, they've beaten the Broncos just on the thought that Des Hasler is coming. That happens, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Justin Holbrook is a great bloke. He's a fine coach. He's got a great record in England, UK, and I think he did some wonderful things. I love their attacking football of the Gold Coast Titans, but for whatever reason, they didn't deliver in the other parts of the game. And someone at the Titans has got impatient and. I can't knock the fact that they've, that they've signed Des Hasler, who's one of the great coaches in our game. He's got a wonderful history of success. and will attract players? He will attract players and he will get results up there. It's a, I think it's a real turning point for the Gold Coast Titans. OK. And that's nothing against Justin Holbrook. Justin Holbrook will get another job. He'll get another job somewhere and he's got to learn from, from this experience. But um, Des Hasler, I can't knock that recruitment at all. I think it's a, a great move for the Gold Coast Titans. And again, I applaud... The swiftness and the secrecy and the way it was executed.